So let us uh, welcome uh, Dr. Jalal Fayrouz, who was a member of parliament and supposedly protected, but uh, his membership of the parliament did not prevent or stop dictators from revoking his citizenship, like most of the Bahrainis in this room. Most of the Bahrainis here have had their citizenship revoked. Uh, thank you, Dr. Saeed, uh, and thank you very much, uh, ladies and gentlemen, for being here. Actually, um, I'm, uh, I would like to quote from uh, Soren Kierkegaard. He says, the tyrant dies and his rule is over, but the martyr dies and his rule begins. St. Augustine, who, who brought Christianity to this land, says, it is not the punishment, but the cause that makes the martyrs. And uh, also uh, uh, Mahatma Gandhi, let's, he said, let us all be brave enough to die the death of a martyr and not be afraid of being uh, death in that manner. Uh, we, are, we are celebrating these days. Uh, so many of the Bahrainis who've been <clears throat> brutally killed in the streets, uh, both in 90s and, and, and in, in 2011, 2013. Uh, we had so, so many uh, Bahraini activists who've been targeted and either they've, they've been killed uh, in jail, inside custody, under torture. Uh, one of our, our my, my friends, uh, he was also a journalist. He was abducted, and just in 40, 48 hours, they called his house and they said, "Come and take his his bloody body." They so 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 they 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 kill. Uh, it is ongoing uh, 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 up to today. Uh, actually, the uh, now the the regime is trying to kill, but try to legitimize it by, by uh, uh, taking it to, to some kind of so-called court, which uh, the BICI, International uh, Commission of Inquiry on Bahrain, has decided that there is nothing called a neutral uh, court in Bahrain, but, but they, are, they are taking them to, to these kind of so-called courts, and they are... Uh, 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 issuing uh, uh, death penalty on them. Actually, in the past 18 months, five of the Bahraini activists were killed as uh, uh, under death penalty, and even their their bodies have not been handed over to the to their families. Uh, even their the mothers were prevented of seeing their their bodies after they've been killed, uh, and and now we have uh, eight. On the road, any time, any time, you might hear that more and more will be slaughtered and killed. Uh, actually, just just yesterday, yesterday, Sunday, uh, one of <coughs> the martyrs who've been executed last year, Abbas al Samia, his brother was released after he he served five years of of jail, and it was so touching i don't have the clip but it was so touching that you know he the first thing he went with his mother to to the grave of his brother and and he was just into so in anxiety to see uh, not be able to see his brother but but to see the grave of his of his brother uh, uh, we have we have so many women now in in, in jail we have so many uh, underaged who are in jail. Uh, we have, f imagine, 5,000, almost 5,000 political prisoners in, in Bahrain jail. Imagine, of course, the Bahrain is, is not, it's only like six, uh, 650,000 of Bahrainis we are. Uh, and uh, uh, imagine, like in UK, you are, if, you, if you are talking about 50,000 political prisoners in UK, how, how do you feel about that? Uh, that's the case in Bahrain. Almost uh, each 
uh, uh, family in Bahrain has a prisoner in jails, including the leaders of the of the Bahraini movement, the, the popular leaders and elites. We have doctors, we have uh, very special people uh, in jail. Uh, uh, we, over the past just few years, th uh, almost uh, 1,000, actually 998 Bahrainis were uh, 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 stripped of their nationalities, including uh, lots of the, the Bahrainis who are in this in this room, including Saeed and, and myself. We've been honored to, to be stripped of our nationalities. Uh, uh, actually, uh, just uh, a month ago, there was a big conference in Bahrain uh, called Bahrain Dialogue. Uh, imagine, and of course, there were some senior uh, officials of the UK attending that so-called Bahrain Dialogue. In Bahrain, there have been calls for dialogue with the, with, the, with the people, but that was shut off. There is no dialogue whatsoever between the regime and the opposition. Even the opposition, some portion of the opposition, have requested that a, a, a new session or, or a session of a dialogue to be established but the, the regime is, is, is so uh, not wanting to, to, start, to start any dialogue with the opposition, but they call that conference Manama Dialogue. Uh, uh, you, can, you can imagine uh, really uh, how the people are, 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 are suffering. Just uh, uh, over the, the, the past two, two days, there has been some releases, I mean, numbers of, of release of the prisoners and the, because of the international pressure on, on the regime. Uh, uh, but almost all who have been released, they, have, they had to serve five years and they have served four years and 10 months. <laughs> they have already you know, served Four years and ten months, and they have been released, you know. And the, the, the regime the, these days in the newspaper, just like today, this morning, newspaper saying, hey, the regime has released so many people. Uh, and you, you can see the very sick people who are going to die because just last month also a, a prisoner died. You can see from time to time people in jail dying because of not caring about their health, not giving them tree, uh, medical attention. So the people on the, on, the, on the verge of dying, they will be released. Uh, and and they, they can consider that as, as a big uh, issue for the, for the regime. And un unfortunately, in, uh, in, in the UK, you can hear some of the officials uh, saying that we, we, we thank, we glorify the Bahraini re regime. Bahraini government for, for, for releasing people uh, as such. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we can see that the, the British government is part of the problem, is not part of the solution ever, because they are still uh, supporting the regime, uh, 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 having a blind eye of all the atrocities, all the bloodsheds which is going on. So it is, I think, it's it's our, everyone, every one of you and myself, our responsibility to put pressure on this government to stop supporting the tyranny. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Jalal.